testing the waters, unveiling the meaning behind the phrase. Hello, language enthusiasts. In today's video, we're diving into a fascinating English expression, testing the waters. It's a phrase you might have heard in conversations or read in books. And now, we're going to explore its meaning, usage, and origins. Whether you're an English learner or just curious about idiomatic expressions, this video is for you. The phrase, testing the waters, is a metaphorical expression. It means to try something out in a cautious manner, to gauge the reaction or response before proceeding further. Imagine dipping your toes into water to check its temperature before jumping in. That's exactly the imagery this phrase evokes. It's commonly used when someone is unsure about a situation and wants to take a preliminary step before making a full commitment. Let's see how this phrase is used in real-life contexts. Here are a few examples. 1. In decision-making. I wasn't sure if I wanted to shift careers, so I decided to test the waters by taking a short course in the new field. 2. In relationships. They are not sure if they are ready for a serious relationship, so they are just testing the waters right now. 3. In business, before launching the new product line, the company tested the waters with a small pilot project. In each of these examples, the phrase is used to describe a situation where a person or organization is cautiously trying something new. The origin of testing the waters is quite literal and can be traced back to the times when people had to physically test the safety or suitability of water, like rivers or seas, before crossing or using them. Over time, this literal action turned into a metaphor for trying out something new in a cautious manner. So, that's testing the waters for you. An interesting phrase that encourages a cautious yet proactive approach to new situations. We hope this explanation helps you understand and use this phrase confidently in your conversations. Remember, language learning is an adventure, and exploring idiomatic expressions is a big part of it. Happy learning, and see you in our next video.